I'm Art Nichols. I'm Vice President of Architecture and Technology at Windstream. Our mission really is to provide innovative software uh, for amazing customer experiences. Uh, we want customers to, to uh, choose us first, not only because of the, the functionality and the performance of our network, um, but because we're, we're the guys that can get it done uh, in short order in the ways that they want to interact with us. We've seen a continued and steady growth of traffic demand on our network from the wholesale and transport uh, perspective. Um, historically, over the last three to five years, it's been an average of about 20 to 30 percent uh, compound on annual growth rate for total traffic. And it forces us to keep pace with technology, adopting new technologies, introducing them into the network so that we, we are able to match the, the price curve with our cost compression. Driving down cost per bit, increasing spectral efficiency, increasing power efficiency, making more sustainable and green decisions for the, the equipment and electronics that we deploy. It's, it's hugely important to how we continue to build out the network. You know, because of that explosion in traffic, um, we're all being pushed to get more performance out of the, the capacity and links that are there. Uh, particularly in the long haul and transport network, um, those environments are not uh, fiber rich. That drives us towards disaggregation driving from large power hungry chassis that we deploy um, you know, and consume over time into more rack mountable single pizza box solutions, compact modular if you will, that allow us an easier growth path. So with this trial, what we really wanted to do is determine uh, and gain a better understanding for how the i6 technology uh, performs in a real world environment, in our real world environment. And so we looked to the links that were very indicative of how other links would look in our network so that we can push the limits of the technology and understand with great confidence how it's going to perform in other segments of the network. We were able to achieve in the trial using a G40 compact modular system running I6 over an existing line system. We were able to achieve at uh, 730 kilometers, we were closed on an 800 gigabit wave solution between Phoenix and San Diego. Uh, we further pushed the limits and looped back one side of the connection to double the effective distance with the same line system, the same electronics on either side. We were able to close at 700 gig over that that 1,460 kilometers. Surprisingly to the engineers of Windstream that sat alongside the Infineer team, uh, we had a really uh, significant residual working margin. From a percentage standpoint, we know that the distances that were validated for the 800 gig cover um, really a sizable portion of what the re remainder of our network, the balance of links in our network. And from a 700 gig standpoint, we should be able to close given the optical signal to noise ratio and distances that were tested against uh, in the trial a super majority really of our existing footprint would be covered at, and be able to close at a 700 gig line speed. What I can say uh, specifically with i6, it does have an industry leading position. In terms of pure performance, in terms of the ability to reach not only the, the distance, but the baud rates and the modulation schemes that we are required, i6 you know, driven on the back of subcarrier and Nyquist based technology appears to be a front runner. Ultimately, the reason this is significant for us, when we're able to reduce the number of transceivers that, are, that exist in that environment, uh, while increasing the throughput of the, that fiber capacity, that translates to a number of things. One, it translates to cost compression. Two, it reduces our cost per bit. It um, enables us to, take, to make more efficient use of the scarce fiber capacity that exists in the long haul environment. Anytime we can take it, we can uh, squeeze more bits per hertz, get more spectral efficiency, uh, for that scarce fiber uh, asset, we need to take really aggressive advantage of it. It translates to greater performance, uh, greater reliability. Um, because we have less transceivers, less uh, parts to fail, ultimately that means the network runs uh, more efficiently and for longer periods without, uh, without disruption. Have the fewer transceivers we have in the, in the uh, line side of the network, um, the less power is consumed. It's a precious commodity we can't afford to waste. And so we're, we pay a lot of close attention to the power consumption, the sustainability of the electronics and the, envir and the uh, photonics that we deploy. Um, and in this case, uh, technologies like X6 um, are really leading edge there. Outfitting the network with this generation, uh, this latest generation of optical engines uh, affords us a couple really key things for our customer base. One, it increases our service velocity, so our ability to turn around multi-terabit orders across the national footprint uh, for ICPs and enterprises uh, in measured in days and not months. 
um, is really critical and an increasingly um, part of the expected um, experience from, from our demanding customer set. Increasingly, we, what we see is a demand not only for 10 gig and 100 gig, but 400 gig uh, solutions in, in the market space. So it, obviously in order to enable that uh, client handoff at a 400 gig line rate, um, or 400 gig, um, gigabit ethernet, we need to enable the line side of our network to support uh, greater and greater bandwidth. And so 800 gig is obviously a really critical um, a performance point and it gives us a lot of uh, flexibility in offering a multiplex 400 gigabit ethernet uh, solution to our end customers. Because it's a disaggregated environment, because we're leveraging compact modular uh, technology, we're able to apply that in a very incremental and a very success-based approach. In metro environments where we have demands for high capacity, either data center to data center or customer premise to data center connectivity, long haul environments, it's a very robust and uh, flexible tool. What enables that is the network that we've built atop of a flex CDC environment to take advantage of that very compact, very modular solution uh, that we can deploy in an incremental fashion. Infinera has been a tremendous partner throughout the years. In addition to uh, leading from a technology standpoint, they've been really good partners for services. Uh, affording us the ability to come alongside deployments, to come alongside uh, planning and engineering efforts, and really help us uh, as we went from, through this transition from a, largely a regional to a, a national and long haul footprint. Mm -hmm.